Hey everyone, uh, my name is Colin Ben Coley and I'm a developer advocate with IBM. So in this code pattern, we'll be talking a bit about a financial process called securitization and demonstrating how it can be implemented on a blockchain ledger. Uh, so securitization is a method that can be utilized by financial institutions such as banks, investment firms, and etc. to essentially package and sell a liquid asset debt to many investors. A few common examples of illiquid assets are mortgages and car loans and etc. So mainly items that require a complex financing process and cannot be readily bought and sold. The lender would generally want to securitize assets so they can sell the debt and free up capital. This would allow them to pursue a different investment that could potentially generate a higher return instead of waiting on the periodic payments. So currently, we're looking at a high level view of a securitization process. Starting from the left side, we'll have a home buyer who was approved for a home mortgage by a financing company. So once this is done, the buyer gets the money that they need to purchase the home and their debt is transferred to a special purpose vehicle, which is essentially a legal entity to protect from bankruptcy. When the mortgage holders receive enough assets, they'll pull all their mortgages together and partition them up into securities. After securities are created, they can then be bought by investors. As each asset receives their periodic mortgage payment, the loan originator and all investors who own a security from that pool will receive a portion. Securitization is a very useful process, but it hasn't been as widely implemented, partially because of its complexity and it generally requires the input of many parties, such as creditors, underwriters, loan officers, etc. Blockchain can be used to address some of these issues and provide more transparency and also both standardize and automate many of the securitization processes. So for example, smart contracts can be used to measure the investment risk of security pools, uh, notify investors and creditors when a mortgage has gone delinquent, uh, determine the value of securities in real time, and etc. All right, so now we'll just show a overview of the application. So essentially we have a dashboard which gives a high level view of participants in the securitization process. These consist of loan originators, assets, asset pools, investors, and securities. So starting from the top, the first step would be to create a loan originator, which should have a unique ID, company name, and a processing fee. The processing fee, which is a percentage of the total mortgage, will be paid back over the lifetime of the loan. Next, we can create an asset which should have an ID, interest rate, balance, and the number of months it'll take to fully pay off the loan. Once an asset has been created, we can then use the transfer action to determine which loan originator is responsible for receiving and processing payments. Then we'll want to create a pool which will hold multiple assets. Once this is created, we can then again use the transfer asset button and this time to place the asset into our new pool. All right, next we can create securities. So each security will be associated with a pool and has a given return percentage. So in this case, we'll give our security a rate of 3%, which means that each security holder will receive 3% of every payment applied to an asset in that pool. And then finally, we can create a investor, which has the ability to buy and sell securities. So we'll use the buy security button to transfer the security to that investor. And next we'll demonstrate a typical transaction by going back up to the asset and clicking process payment. So here we can enter a payment amount as well as which asset that will be paid down. So once this payment is applied, we'll see that the asset balance goes down by the principal amount of that payment. So essentially the payment amount minus interest. 
and also we'll see that the originary balance goes up as well because they'll receive a fee for processing the payment. And also the investors receive their portion as well and that amount depends on the rate of their security. So in conclusion, we've given a high level overview of the securitization process and shown how it can be implemented to be carried out on a blockchain ledger. So everything here is open source and the code base used to implement this project can be found at the GitHub link in the description. This can be deployed on either your local development system or on our hosted IBM cloud service. So if you're interested in other projects using our blockchain service, please visit the code patterns link in the description. All right, thanks for watching.